What are you most looking forward to? I'm really interested to see Sam Darnold in another game against live action. We're probably going to see a lot of the Atlanta Falcons defensive starters on the field. Darnold's going to be running that offense. But number 95, Quinnen Williams only played 11 snaps for the Jets in the first yeah. game. Expect a little bit more in week two. And they are raving about Quinnen Williams, more than just as a player, as a person mm. in the building. Mm. Quinnen Williams might be one of those wrecking balls that, you know, we, we talk about for many, many years. And it might happen a lot sooner than we expect. Could start like tonight. Will you tell him that we say hi? I know. You see him? He'd love, <laughs> just hope we love him. We all love him and say hi. Will sell us out in the news and we'll say hi to him and tell him we love hey. him as well. Hey, Will. All right, hey, what's going on there, KM fellas? Well, a day after Kyle took his man crush on Jimmy Garoppolo to another level, one that includes Chardonnay and an ether egg, Kyle's words, not mine, Jimmy G went out to practice and caused heartbreak for Kyle and the other Kyle, you know, Kyle Shanahan, his head coach. Oh, Garoppolo throwing count of five straight interceptions during one stretch of practice. He finally broke through with the touchdown pass to rookie Jalen Hurd. But make no mistake... It was U-G-L-Y, and his head coach knew it after seeing the carnage. He threw it to the wrong team five plays in a row. I was a defense coach today, so I was pumped. Um, but no, the defense did great today, and obviously he struggled. Um, he hoped to never have a day like that, but um, I don't think it's never not happened to anyone. So when you do that, you hope you can practice long enough and give him a chance to play out of it and use it as an opportunity that hopefully you can you can do in a game like hopefully you don't have five in the game but you can play yourself out of two in a row or something like that i thought he did play better at the end in the two minute drive um and in the red zone but um now that we, we hit a rough spot and i was happy for the defense but the offense is gonna have about a day and a half to think about it well jimmy g not the only qb to display his struggles during training camp mitch trubisky at times doing likewise against one of the top defensive units in the league. But head coach Matt Nagy is confident in the development of his young signal caller. In fact, Nagy telling our Tom Pelissero, Trubisky is way past where he was at this time last year in terms of reading coverages, etc. Nagy says Trubisky is playing off instincts. Well, we may not see Le'Veon Bell's Jets debut this Thursday against the Atlanta Falcons, but the running back tells the New York Daily News he understands the team is just protecting him. It's been almost 600 days since Bell last live NFL action. Hard to believe, but it's true. Bell says he doesn't necessarily need preseason reps, but it'll help if he gets them. Yes, yeah, football is football, and it'll just take a couple of plays before he is ready to go. Either way, though... A lot of Gang Green fans want to see yes. Lev Bell suited up and the rest of those running backs as well. And we want to see Peter Schrager in that booth. So let's <laughs> no talk doubt. about these. Thank you so much. Well, Will, they're uh, I don't know, calling Well today. Well, Well Selva. He's doing well. Yeah, he's doing well. He's doing a great job. He looks great today. Their he Twitter does. account tweeted this out. They were pretty bold, if I say so myself, saying that we'll take our running back room. It's a cool shot. Over anyone. <laughs> I like that music. So who am I seeing here? Lev Bell. You got I mean, him. you can stop with him. But Ty Montgomery does his thing. Bilal Powell. Elijah McGuire scored four oh, yeah. touchdowns in the last four games for the Jets last year. He won angry runs last year. He really did. Yeah, yeah, he got the trophy. Valentine Holmes. So is this the best running back room? I'm going to say... Because of those supplemental pieces, yes, uh -huh, and sure. because of Le'Veon Bell, who you can lean on for at least 300 touches and what he can do catching the ball. He's good for 80-plus catches as well. I think it is the Jets. You're going to go Jets. You know, there's something interesting with the Jets running back room. Ty Montgomery, who you guys are like, ah, well, whatever. He was fumbled against for the Packers. It was a really good running back in this mm -hmm. league. His body type is very similar to Le'Veon Bell, where you can kind of put them both out there, interchange them. It, Adam Gase is one of these mad geniuses. I wouldn't be surprised if Le'Veon Bell and Ty Montgomery are on the field at the same time. One at wide receiver, one at running back. Like, there's a lot of creativity they can do. They're two really good players. Jets Ooh. are very high on those running backs. All right, I'm, I'm going to make everybody roll their eyes on the Jets fans, but I'm going to go with the Patriots. I'm going to go – because if you're not talking about the best player – but the best room, the Patriots have the perfect Voltron or Thundercats or whatever you want. I mean, they, they go five deep. It's like a band. It's like a rock band. Sonny Michelle is your lead singer, scores the game-winning touchdown in the Super Bowl. James White, your lead guitarist, it, it, was Julian Edelman when Julian Edelman was out of suspension. We know James White. Rex Burkhead is your bassist, scored the game-winning touchdown in the AFC Championship game. 
Damian Harris, a new backup singer, the rookie, his hand is injured right now, but he's another Alabama guy who's just a juggernaut, and then James Devlin is your roadie, and he's got the, the cowboy collar. You can't come up with – look at these guys. I mean, now it looks like a boy band kind of. They don't have the best player in the league. They don't maybe have a top 15 running back in the league, but I think they got the best room, and they got the best jewelry for sure. They're going to use this room more than any other year, too. Like Great room. You asked about the whole NFL. We've done two AFC East teams, and I'm not done in that division because I think the Buffalo Bills have an argument okay. to make. Buffalo Bills beefed up their running back room this offseason. We know about LaShawn McCoy. They added Frank Gore. They drafted a guy in Devin Singletary who's tremendous. TJ Yeldon's in the building. All these guys have had success yeah, that's a in the NFL. Problem. I mean, Singletary, they're calling Baby Bush because he played for Lane Kiffin at FAU. Reggie Bush played for Lane Kiffin at USC mm -hmm. and, is play and used him a lot of the same ways. But you have all those names. And the guy that has me excited is probably someone who won't even make the 53. Let's just see the Christian Wade run one more time. Oh, this is a this is good. player from Europe, from Rugby World, and his first NFL touch. Remember the Player Pathway program on Thursday night? Christian Wade goes 65 yards. He's British, played rugby. He's now out there on the NFL field. He's in camp with them. But you're talking about McCoy and Gore, who I don't think it's crazy to say are two potential future Hall of Famers. McCoy's got to do a little more, probably. Yeah. 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 Devin Singletary, who could be the best rookie running back in the entire league this season. And then TJ Yeldon, who's put up a lot of yards in this league. Add in a guy like that, there's a curiosity. I'm in on the Bills. So we're arguing the three of us between three AFC yeah. East teams and who has the best running back room. Yeah. Are you going to go with uh, somebody else here? Go with the Dolphins, Kenyon Drake. Go with the Jets. I'm going to take it to the West Coast. <laughs> ah. it's, it, listen, it's cute that you guys are naming all these individuals. If you're talking about RB room, Room, a room. You guys are naming the couches, the the lounge chair, maybe some paintings on the wall, a little lamp. But there's one individual that is the centerpiece of every room. He is that 50 inch plasma. He might be the 100 inch plasma screen okay. sitting on the wall. That when you walk in that room, you're like, my eyes are transfixed on that <laughs> name. And that's Todd Gurley. Mm. Okay. I don't care what you guys are saying. The USD Todd cable Gurley yeah. is yeah. one HDMI man <laughs> show. Over the last couple seasons, 2,500 yards. To be exact, 2,556. Nobody has more. Over the last two seasons, 40 touchdowns. Nobody has more. Okay, he was on a bike at the end of the season. CJ yeah. Anderson came in and had to spell him. Yeah. Listen, when you got a car that can do everything that's fast, can off-road, can literally do it all, occasionally you got to change a tire. You might have to do a little, little fix a flat and, and fix a tire and then get back on the track. Right. You have no concern on Todd Gurley this year? I don't have any concern. Todd Gurley at 85% is still the best running back in the game. And with everybody saying that, oh, you know, Todd Gurley's a little banged up. I don't know what's going on with his knee. I guarantee he hears it. His body feels it. He's going to get back to putting up another 20 touchdowns. We forget it was 20 You're, touchdowns. Wait, I love Todd Gurley. You're not alarmed that he's not even making the trip to Hawaii. That they're like, eh, just rest. There's, I think it's good. no clear answer. <laughs> they won't even say he's not going to Hawaii. They go, we, we, we don't know yet. Todd Gurley said, you know, I wish I can go there, hang out, sit on the beach and kick it and not play. But they're like, nah, sit your butt in L.A. in rehab so we can have you right for the season. And week one, he's going to start this thing off. And I guarantee Todd Gurley's going to remind everybody, oh, yeah, he's the best friend. I like it. Never, ever change, Nate. Mm -hmm. Question for everybody out there. Are you tired of those lame old corny fantasy team names? The Never. The same old pop yeah. culture references? We got just the thing for you. The generator is next. It's a public service we provide. Baker Mayfield is saying that everybody wants to see the Browns lose. Is he just making stuff oh, up? I feel like I don't want to see him lose. Who wants to see the Browns lose? Not what are we doing here? I've got him on primetime every week.